Oh, yeah. I would just, uh, I got a little excited on that last video. <laughs> you can appreciate how upset any American would be to have their rights violated for six years, to have their, their children kidnapped and held hostage, to have their assets seized, and not have anyone from law enforcement, not have any elected oath of office that has sworn to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. There wasn't a one of them that emailed me. Now I know you're elected to office and you're really very important. You're a senator or a representative. Do you have a phone system in your office? Do you pay your own expenses for the telephone system that you have? <laughs> I just wanted to know every extension of every phone line in every oaths of office office, <laughs> every attorney and every attorney firm, every bar association and every lawsuit and liability in every law school. Now let's say I found out that there's an employee that somebody dislikes and you decide you're going to frequency their brains because it's their telephone number that keeps getting the radio signals, the same radio signals that are being broadcast through high definition television. Now there are a few different ways to destroy a person's life. You could use top secret communication systems so as to take the brains of those that are employees because you yourselves have been dealing in a legal products that happen to program and ultimately destroy the lives of those that you don't like. I'm going to need the phone numbers and every extension of every law firm in the world. And then I'm going to need to know if you've been broadcasting over voice over IP to any employee's desk because you just didn't like them. And then I'm going to find out how many law firms are going to get sued for everything they own. Now, when you profiteer because of the use of illegal cloning technology, when you profiteer because of the illegal use of biochips, implants, or teeth implants, when you profiteer because of the use of what I have called turbo tits, it could be that chromium in the bodies of those that have nanotechnology in their tattoos, when you go to work, there's a few employees that you thought you needed to get rid of, and instead of just talking to them and explaining, well, we'd like you not to work here anymore, you thought you'd destroy their brains. Those in the top secret fish family that have taken it upon themselves to use any technology to affect the bodies, the minds, the nervous systems, the muscle groups, the blood of any employee because they just didn't want to lay them off and they didn't want to have a four cause reason to fire them. They just weren't going the way of the family. <laughs> For every employee that your telephone system or your clones <laughs> or your top secret surveillance technology destroyed the brains of, I'm going to sue every firm in the I'm going to need to know the last 40 years of incoming calls and outgoing calls. <laughs> I'm going to need to know every phone system, <laughs> voice over IP system, <laughs> all DSL systems, and every router in every law firm. Now, it seems like some high-profile oaths of admission, those that have to practice law in Supreme Courts of the United States, might have just took it upon themselves to get rid of a person using the old-fashioned destroy-their-brain method. Now, somebody's been helping themselves to some very illegal technology and they're going to get lawsuits. <laughs> and then when I find out that they've been routing calls because they just didn't like somebody. <laughs> well, the witches <laughs> that are the bitches that happen to be in the fish family because they didn't want to go to work <laughs> are going to find themselves imprisoned for lifetimes. 
for profiteering. The sale and distribution of illegal technologies that can and have been used to program Stepford control <laughs> the sexuality and brains of those that are employees the world now, let's say you issued a protection order for two years but you thought I might get angry about that so you decided to wait until I left the county <laughs> Because I had been to the hospital, somebody had put a clone on me and stopped my lungs. I was brought back to life. I was taking penicillin while staying at the Sundowner. Now I can document my, well, my exact whereabouts for the most part. It's usually a homeless shelter or a hotel. I've often said that I have to sleep someplace and it has to be inside. Now when you sleep inside homeless shelters or you house it for somebody or you stay in motels, it's very easy to document where I have spent every night for the last six years I'm not really a camper like a lot of these homeless folks that like to get themselves a tent and go out there in the woods and spend a few weeks by themselves I've always had people around me and if there's ever a question of where I was staying I'm pretty sure I can find somebody that would vouch for my whereabouts on every night of the week for the last six years. I'm not one of those camping types of homeless people. I always stayed inside. <laughs> and I always had people around me.